Welcome back, friends, followers, and transients to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Vapor. And in the last episode, just when I thought everything was going so well, all this pretty much burnt down. But we're hoping that we don't get any disasters like that in this episode. I guess the focus for this episode is probably going to be a little bit more food and more homes. Um, we've got a little bit of stone, a little bit of wood coming in. There's nothing major going on. Um, I'm not going to panic straight away, and I don't think we have the capability of kind of jumping into ports and stuff just yet, nor do I think we need to. We've got to kind of get things stable, so I guess that's what we're going to focus on. Okay, so as it stands, um, every person we've got is currently doing a job, so we have no spare people whatsoever. So if we want to do anything, we need to build more homes. Um, do we have someone in here? I'm guessing yes, we do. It's a low fire risk over here. I think wells would probably be a good idea. Now, I love how people will reassign automatically depending on what's going on. Um, but I think it would probably be quite a good idea to sneak a well in here somewhere. So let's let's chop that down. That will probably reassign somebody from somewhere. In fact, we can probably find that out, can't we? Uh, let's have a see. So windmill worker. There we go. So the windmill worker has come across. Probably got nothing better to do. Does that mean we lose a bonus here, though? No. So we're still getting the bonus, even though the worker has come away to chop down those lovely green trees. So that's quite good. At least we know that's still working. Um, is this the person here? It is. And what happens if I put a well in here now? Will it be the same person, or will they go back to their job? I wonder. Let's wait for them to do it. So we've sped the game up just to get that done. And this will give us, a, hopefully, a little bit more coverage. It's not quite enough to cover these houses, but... We're not a million miles away from that. And what I'm really, really hoping is that they've done something with the charcoal in this game. Because that used to be a complete nightmare. You just could never, ever make enough. Um, now the granary workers now come. My lord, no one is available to work on our new construction. Ah, don't worry about that. We've got it covered. So, let's have a look-see in here. What have we got? So, we've got the different houses, which we're probably going to have to work with work with. Did someone just drop into the water or did someone just do a rather large poop? I'm not sure, but that was quite a splosh. Um, I wonder if we should drop that in here or maybe have it a little bit further back, say like here. Actually, can't really see the ground. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where's the market town? It is fairly green here, so I'm guessing that's probably better to be farmland. It's fairly green up there. In fact, hmm... I don't want to I want to build it in the best possible position. Maybe there is good because then we can take advantage of this land up here that's not so fertile. So let's let's wipe that in there. Uh, we've got enough food so we can afford uh, the eeny meeny mine. I would like to build some cottages, but maybe not yet. I might just kind of go around here. We'll do a similar pattern. Let's go for roads. Like so. Have I done that right? I didn't get that. Ah, excuse Alexa, she can't help herself. As soon as, as, soon as I say something, she gets all, all jittery. I'd even say her name. I don't even think I said anything like her name. In fact, I've just muted her so I can say I can say Alexa now. <laughs> I think it's sometimes if I say exactly, she gets a little bit excited. I don't know if I said that. I wasn't really paying attention to myself. Um. But it's possible. Let's kind of go something like that. And what we can do... We didn't put that hovel back in, did we? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Try that again. Right. Left click. There we go. Is it R to rotate? It doesn't want to rotate there. Click middle mouse button or press the R. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to face that way and why would that be? Stubborn game. Okay. And now that's gonna be all wonky, isn't it? <laughs> that's just gonna be slightly annoying. I think I can I can kind of ignore it for the for the time being. I'm not gonna go completely crazy. Now this has got some nice land over here. For more food but this this is probably where it's at look how fertile that's going to generate us a lot of food 
So let's have a look. Can we actually reach out there? Not yet. So we need to run a road, which we can do. Come across here. Someone's at the door. Um, see if we had, I could probably make be better use of this if we had fertile land. Oh my god, people knocking. Um, but I don't really, I don't really want to be going into the aqueducts and stuff yet. In fact, I don't think we're producing enough stone to even do such a thing. And there we go. How much does that hold? 200. We may need another granary. That would be a good spot because most of it's infertile. Let's. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's wood we're short of. That's unusual. Well, wood we can deal with. We can just chop down a few extra trees. Like so. I'm trying to think what point the Vikings come. I think it's a population level um, that they will come out. Look at that. Surrounded completely. Not much we can do about that. Now, we do have the wooden walls. Um, the only reason I think I would use them is to try and move the uh, the Vikings into a certain direction, but I don't think that's necessarily going to work. Nothing. Like, they just have a really straight edge. They've really kind of jagged some of the edges now, haven't they? Just to make it look a little bit kind of um, less neat, more more natural, I suppose. Okay, we got all that going there. How many spare people have we got? Probably nobody. How many people are building? So there's five builders. We're full here. We've got no timber workers. There is the issue. That's why. So I could move that up if I wanted to. Um, in fact, most people are currently focused on moving stuff around and building. Five people. One, two, three. We're really short, sure, aren't we? That really did suck in a lot of people. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, these haven't got people in them yet. I was worried. I was worried for a second. There we go. We've got 60 beds and only 36 people. Panic over. So, what are they looking for? Um, we've got a road. You haven't got charcoal, but we've got the town square. So, most of those things they're happy about. Why is the fire risk so high there? Unusual. I mean, we could we could chuck a well there. Is that lowered it yet? Oh. Huh. I mean that one is actually covered. So that one, this one I get it's got no coverage. Maybe it's to do with distance from the well, because it's literally on the on the very edge of it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's the distance away from the well. So this one has got very low. Yep. So even though there is a well within, oh, sorry, that's within the circle of influence of the well. There is still an issue because it's so far away from a well. That makes a lot of sense. So we'll chuck another one over there. I can live with that. Uh, what did we want? We wanted a granary, didn't we? Can we afford that? No, we're completely short. It's probably all the workers that we've got not doing what they should be doing. Uh, can we come out of here? Yes, we can. Let's have a look-see. So we've got 11 builders. Let's speed things up. Because then hopefully we'll get a better picture of what's actually going on. So one well is done. That's timber workers. has just got some more people. Perfect. <laughs> I don't get what that big plopping noise is. It's really strange. Okay, so we're back full on there. The quarry are now picking up. So it makes sense. It would, it would backfill from the top downwards, wouldn't it? Not backfill, it's from underneath. But you know what I mean. So the next place to get someone should be a granary. There we go. All right, so no one's builder. So currently we're short of three people, but how much space have we got? Yeah, we've got plenty of space. It's a new year. People visited our kingdom, but no one saw fit to stay. Ooh, why not? Is the question. Because for these basic houses, I think we've pretty much met their needs. Unusual. I'm going to try and keep it as tidy as possible, by the way. I know we're using some of this green land here. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to try and make it look nice. I could probably do a road across here, actually. Just to speed things up a touch. 
And we might put some of the um, cottages in here because we can line them all up. They don't really need access to... I mean, they need the road next to them, but they don't need the kind of their front door on the road. I'm saying that. They could have changed that since I last played. It's entirely possible. How are we doing for the big granary? 50 woods. We're almost there for both of those. Let's whack the speed up. I don't want to be losing out on food. I don't want to overproduce it either. That is the other thing. There we go. So I wonder what would make these people happy. We've not got any gold, so we can't currently put down a library. That needs gold. Go to tavern. But that also needs gold. I guess that's going to be one of the next things that we need to do. Now the treasure room. And we've got all these uh, soldiers and stuff that we can build now, which is something that I think... Yeah, we did have that in the last series we played. And I quite enjoyed that. It added a little something different. It wasn't just all on your towers all the time, which is really cool. See, there we go. This, this will be built, hopefully, yeah, just in time for the next season. So we were very close at filling that. How are we doing for people? It's amazing that nobody else has wanted to stay. Oh, seven people have stayed. There we go. No one's so fit. I don't understand. We have food. We have everything but charcoal. I could start work on that. But the only thing about that is... It's going to use a lot of the wood, isn't it? That's my only concern with that. Do you know what? We don't have a market, but that's going to take a lot of people as well. Let's um, let's chop you down. We'll put one in. I suppose we could always subsidise the uh, the foresters' work with some extra people until we put another forester in. I mean, my goodness, <laughs> we're not short of a tree, are we? <laughs> this island is covered in them. Although it doesn't really matter now anyway, because the foresters do replant trees, even if there was no trees there in the first place. That was something they fixed a little while back. So I think I could put one here if I wanted to, and it would still work. There we go. How are you doing? Because yeah, you've still got a bit of space. I think we'll have a larger stockpile here, and I think a market here. And we can just put another road through the middle, maybe. There we go. Can I do anything with this? Can I set a maximum yield for this stuff? It doesn't look that way. So it will just keep making it for as long as possible. So what's this current desired? Desired, is that the ma Oh, that's the maximum amount they store. It's a bit of a strange wording, isn't it, really? Desired. Hmm. I guess, like, most of this is going to go to the houses. The head of household will come over here and collect it. Is that a head of household there, probably? Let's see if we can find one. So the head of household, where are you? You're currently in the house. So what are you off to do? Are you going to get some food? You are carrying food. There we go. That answers that question. But if we had a market here, he wouldn't have as far to go, I suppose. But it's the yo-yoing that people are going to have to do. So if they want food, they're going to go this way. If they want charcoal, they could go that way. But if we have a market, they can literally just go the one direction, pick up what they need and come back. Although I suppose they can only hold so much at a time. How are we doing for food? Excellent. We're not doing too bad. So we've got currently no charcoal coming through. That wasn't surprising. Um, Where is the market? Is that under food? It is. That needs gold. Okay. I'm very, very tempted. Oh, we hit the maximum amount of people. We've got nine people spare. We definitely need a treasure room. I don't like taxing the people. What are we going to have to do it? I I do like having some of these buildings right next to the castle. It just looks nice. I think, yeah, we'll go there. So that's going to take some of our idle workers. Which will start bringing us in some gold that we need. I think I was going to put cottages here, wasn't I? I was put a market and stockpile there, I suppose. Here makes more sense. How about... Can you rotate for me? Thank you. I could. Put two here, maybe. 
Because this is gonna, these are gonna need more things. Though. That's the other thing I've got to bear in mind. Yeah, they are within the influence of the market, so that's one thing. We've got all this area up here. Mm -mm -mm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I think what we'll do is we will run the. <laughs> Can't keep it completely symmetrical, unfortunately. And if we get rid of you. We come along here, like so. Once that's done, I think we'll we'll start putting them over here because this side's going to be farmland, isn't it? Yeah, to a degree, until we can fertilize the whole thing. One more tree. Perfect. And then we can go with how many cottages can we get along here? If we have the road going. Yeah, through the middle. Okay. I, I'm going to try and make it look as pleasant as possible. Because usually I just ram buildings in everywhere. You know, if I can get it in, I'll get it in sort of thing. Um, but uh, I guess... Let's try and go Let's try and go for a little bit of prettiness. There's no point trying to min-max. I mean, I can do. And I kind of, in a sense, did that in the last series. And, you know, we can just have a little bit of fun with it. We'll go here. Yeah. Now these are going to want different things, aren't they? Uh, what level of tax are we currently charging? We are charging nothing. So we're going to go for one. That should start bringing us in some dollar. There we go. I think we're going to get to the point of Viking soon. So I don't know if... Huh. Build and stack to form walls and towers. Taller walls are harder for enemies to destroy. Can you put an archer tower on top of one of those? Oh, would you even want to? <laughs> I suppose it's the question. Uh, we are going to need some kind of defense here. What, what I'm thinking is in the early stages, I, I mean, I know these things are useful, but would I be better off focusing on a small army? Because an army could move around this area fairly quickly. Now, that's a question for the next episode. So you guys can let me know in the comment. What, what do you think? Because we're not going to be in a huge space. So I, I think potentially training up an army that we can move along. I mean, I could convert all this road in the middle to stone so they can move quickly. But I think we can cover this area fairly well. Mm -hmm. It's a thought. Alright, let's have a look in here. So, we do need another forester. I think we'll go for the market next. We'll whack you in here. So, what do you need? We've got everything that you want by the looks of it. Um, ah, I want church or library and they want a tavern as well. I guess that was that was obvious that was coming, but we need gold for that. We have gold. We don't have enough wood, which we kind of knew was going to happen, didn't we? So where can we put another forest that doesn't interfere with that one? Okay, that needs a road. Suppose we could go with here, maybe. Because this isn't much use to us. Forest that must be near usable. Oh, it does need to be near trees. I thought it could be anywhere. Huh. Interesting. Is that what I get for chopping down the trees that were down here? <laughs> so I suppose it is. Well, that sucks a little bit. That would have been a perfect little spot. I think if we can sneak one in there, let's um, let's chop down the roads here. Don't want it too close to that one. They won't let you place them right on top of each other anyway. Okay, so you've got quite a bit of food. You've got 111 of 75. They've clearly not fixed that issue yet. It seems a bit strange to me. It just To me, it just looks like it's a, some kind of text issue. But what do I know? I've got no clue. I play games. I don't program them. I chopped all them one down first and not... Not these ones. There we go. My lord, no one is available. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We know. We know. Tell me something I don't know. That would be, uh, that would be quite good. Like the meaning of life or something. 
Oh, how to keep a woman happy. Now, that would be some useful information. <laughs> okay, we got a few more spare people now. Once that's up and running. Let's see. Wow, we've still got a fair amount of people. 84 beds, 7 people left. And we have a bit of gold, so I guess we could... The church takes quite a lot, doesn't it? Does this cost me anything? I can't remember if it does. What's the... Wow, the air of effect on that is huge now. Uh, where would we put a church if we were going to put a church? That is a massive building. Can we... Oh... That might actually, I mean, I wouldn't have done that, to be honest with you, but I think because that door literally kind of lines up with that. We might be able to wrap some houses around. That's two squares, isn't it? Yeah, we could. We could wrap some cottages all the way around that. That might look quite cool. So that's going to cheer people up a little bit, at least maybe once it's built. Let's see. They want a tavern now. <laughs> so they can, they can go and pray, but they want to get drunk. Why not? Why not indeed? The area of effect for that is not so good. Oh, plague. I completely forgot about that. Hospitals. Ah. They're dead now. Okay, they don't have an area of effect. That might do quite nicely here. And we're probably going to lose a couple of people here, which is going to drive a little bit of unhappiness, isn't it? Yep. There we go. So we got loads of sadness. No one's going to want to move in. Trending towards 44. I'd like to see that number trend in the opposite direction, if at all possible. That would be nice. This is, you know, I, I, I'm going to say those famous words and something's going to go wrong, but I think we're doing quite well. <laughs> With the exception of the uh, the plague, here comes all the people from the market. Charcoal never ever keeps up. It's like the most useless building in the world. It's got all the wood it could possibly need. Yeah, we're going to need that second stockpile before long. But at least we've got materials coming in. Tavern, tavern, tavern. I mean, we could get it in there. Does that cover... That covers most things. So maybe... I don't want to encroach on the old forester's uh, land here, but... Try and get as much as possible. We're gonna to need to build more of these later on anyway, but I think I think we can get away with that. Although half of it's been over this direction. Oh, the church is up. Happiness is going up on the unnamed isle island even. So we're still Rivervale, because we haven't got a name, and the island itself doesn't have a name. There we go. Is that going to help the happiness? Yep, no one's asking for anything, so I guess happiness is just a matter of time. Um, how are we doing for people? Let's have a little look. We're short of... Oh, windmills take two people. Yikes. Event planners. T okay, that's all done. I'm losing my mouse wheel. Nothing's happening. There's a little, nice little scrolly bar here that I should probably use. 2115. All those are done. So, do we have any spare people? No. Consumes 14 food a year. It gives a base happiness. So, we definitely need to get some more houses in. But, I think that's a job for the next episode. What do you think? I think so. Because we're getting there now. We're about 25 minutes in. And that's about long enough for an episode, I guess. Uh, thank you very much for watching. But until next time, as always, take care.